Hi everyone! Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. So this is the first English video actually after the presentation. So this is gonna be a review of shampoo and conditioner from Frederic Fekai. So Frederic Fekai is a French hairdresser who used to work in the Sons Just Like Us and come in the US in New York City to open a salon. So he's well known for his really luxurious salon and luxurious products that he used in his own salon. And last year he just dropped a new line of products which is called The One by Frederic Fekai, which comes into a really nice and luxurious packaging with a really luxurious scent, but we will come to it later. So we found those products in the Ulta store for $30 each, which is quite pricey, but we thought like, we don't have those products in France, so let's try it. So it's been two weeks that we have tried these products every day, because here in New York, I think that our hair is very, very oily. But we thought at the beginning it was because of New York and the environment, but yesterday we do not went out of our room and we get oily hair and scalp again so maybe it's because of the products which is why we want to make a review about it so let's start by the beginning the packaging which is the first thing that you see on the store so this one is the shampoo and this one is the conditioner you can see the head is different the color is really like royal frenchy which is really nice yeah, the packaging is really luxurious. It's really nice. It's a nice blue and with the golden golden text on it. So at the first sight, we kind of know that we want to buy two products because it was the only ones who have a really different packaging, really luxurious one. So we go for the we go to this one because of the packaging at the first sight. Then we take a look at the ingredients, which are actually not that bad, not that much silicone. So we thought, okay, let's give it a try. And again, we did. <laughs> so I'm the kind of person that loves fragrance. I think it's the first thing I, I look for in a product. Uh, even if the product is bad, I can buy it if it smells good. So for the for the scent, it smells really nice. I would not know what to say about the smell because it smells kind of fresh, I think. I mean, it's very difficult to describe, but it smells good. It's kind of freshy, I would say. That was really the, the only thing that made me buy it, beside the packaging. It's really soft. It's not like a heavy scent from Target shampoo, kind of like. It's like a really luxurious scent, really soft, that make you think that it will be a really luxurious product with a lot of soft foam. Like, you can get a massage, you feel like cocooning inside of the fragrance. And the good thing also about the fragrance is that I think that it can be good for women and for men too. Because yeah. it's not floral at all, it's not woody, it can really be good for both. So, what is said on the bottle about the product, it's the universal one, which means that it's for every kind of hair, every type of hair, uh, for an everyday use, so which is what we were looking for, because we do not have a bleach or dyed hair. So they say that this is a high performance formula with nutrient rich from French sea either to help protect hair against daily environmental damage. Hair feels more hydrated with touchable softness and glossing shine. So let's start by the shampoo. For me, I said I don't have dyed hair. But actually, on the like last one or two inch, I used to have bleached all my hair and then color it again. So it's kind of bleached and colored on the top. So I really need rich but not too rich shampoo that will not make my hair too dry, not too hard to comb. So I thought I will need the conditioner first of all because we all need conditioner every time. But I thought it will be soft enough for just leaving my hair soft with a soft touch as they said on the bottle, which is not the case. It is really dry actually after the shampoo, like you cannot put a comb or a brush inside. It's really, really, really dry. For me personally, I really like the shampoo. I like the smell, I like the, the foam, it's really light. So everything is kind of, it's fine for me because I, my hair is natural. I don't need too much of like hydration because I also use conditioner every day every time I wash my hair so the shampoo I really like it and like from the beginning to the end but when it comes to the conditioner it's not the same thing for me because when I rinse the shampoo you know you have that feeling that your hair is really clean but after when I apply the conditioner on your hands it feels it feels nice it feels soft it smells really good it's the same smell as like the shampoo but when you rinse it I rinse it really really long to make sure 
sure it's gone but i still feel when you touch your hair it's it already feels oily for me yeah you can feel like the cream is not really off your hair yeah it's like kind of still stick in your hair and you cannot wash it away yeah that's the thing so for me i really need the conditioner of course because of what i've said before actually i kind of have the same feeling as lucas because i really like it when you put it on your hair it's really soft the scent is really good and i comb with it really easily kind of like the same feeling that you have with target kind conditioner which are really heavy in silicones but it does its job for the detangling side but like lucas when you rinse off it's kind of like you can't rinse off the products entirely so it kind of feels like you still have the cream and you already know that it's going to be heavy which normally is not because it's for it's the lightweight conditioner which is in on the bottle and i really don't like the the oily touching side because i think that everyone when you wash your hair you kind of like the feeling that you have when it's clean so when you apply the shampoo it's fine but if you do the conditioner next it's really messed up yeah so it's kind of strange because it's kind of like the shampoo which are both from the same line universal one it's kind of like the shampoo is for just normal hair really basic without dyed without bleach uh he's really lightweight gives you volume and softness yeah. and it's like the conditioner is not universal at all it's like i think it's better like on long hair really dry on the ends we need something <laughs> more thick for make it l softer and more easy i think it's kind of like not from the same line at all so at the end End of the review we will just show you two short videos of our hair just this morning after the day that we spend in the room so we do not go outside just for eating but, and you can see that today lucas have no wax i don't know if you can see it on the camera but he does not watch his hair this morning and it's like really really greasy yeah really oily which is not the case usually i never have oily hair like yeah unless i don't wash it three days but it never really happens <laughs> even if you use because we are huge consumers of kevin murphy and shuimura which are rich and thick too and even in, when he used to use the the heaviest line of shuimura he never get oily hair so it's just a lightweight everyday shampoo and conditioner is just not normal at all even more for thirty dollars each, which apparently in the US is kind of like normal because we have seen Kerastase, who is sell. I think it's like forty five dollars the shampoo and like eighty for the mask, which is way much expensive than in France because in France it's like thirty, between twenty five and thirty euros for the shampoo, and like the max is fifty euro, yeah. fifty sixty maximum. So it's like everything is way much expensive in New York. I don't know if it's everywhere in the US, but so for us, 30 euro, 30 dollars. It's overpriced. In France, it should be really great products. Yeah, and I mean, 30 dollars here is even in New York, I think it's overpriced for for the quality of the products. I mean, when you go to a salon as expensive as Frederic Fikai, you expect from his shampoos the same quality that you have on the salon. It's kind of like you have a really great beauty outside and you have just in the inside. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and tell us in the comments if you know the brand, if you know Frederic Fikai, if you have ever been to his salon or if you have tried those products or even other products because maybe the products are kind of good but it's just like the one that's... So yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>